Hi everyone and welcome to Stamp with Angela. I'm Angela Palmer and I'm looking forward to sharing with you today. Thanks for being here, whether you're watching this on my Facebook Live, whether you're watching the recording later or perhaps you're watching this on YouTube. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Today I'm excited to share with you some card ideas using the snowflake mask from the Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. So I've had lots of fun over the last couple of weeks making some creations with these masks. Um, we've done the flowers, nice bright sort of sunflower kind of cards, then the leaves, more autumny, and now we're going for a winter look with the snowflakes. So I'm going to share a couple of ideas with you today, so I hope you enjoy those. So I'm not quite sure if you can tell, it's probably backwards for you because of my rear facing camera at the moment, but I've got my top on here, can you see it? So this is the Stamping Up um, 35 Years Celebration top that we can choose to purchase if we like. So inspire, create, share, but a Stamping Up's motto there. So of course, you know, like today, I want to inspire you um, with your paper crafting and card making, have fun creating, whether that's, you know, creating together or creating yourself and then sharing, sharing with others and like sharing today with this Facebook Live, sharing cards, whether you're giving them to people, that kind of thing as well. We can inspire, create and share with others too. It's one of the great things I like about Stamping Up is the opportunities to um, just meet other people and craft and share with them and be inspired. I hope I inspire you and I'm inspired by many others as well. So thank you for being here with me today. So as I mentioned, it's 35 years since Stamping Up started. So that's in America where it was first based and then it came to New Zealand, Australia about 16, 17 years ago. And then for me, I've been involved with Stamping Up for about 11 years. So that's pretty cool too. So I started when my youngest, Amanda, was about one. She's now 12. So it was great. It was um, time out for me. I could enjoy some crafting and doing something I enjoyed. And I just sort of joined initially basically so that I could um, – maybe do a class once a month, just get together with others, have that sort of time of something else and then earn a bit of money to help pay for my crafting supplies. And then it's grown to so much more, meeting other people, all that kind of thing. Now, I do enjoy teaching. I teach in many ways. I teach piano. I'm actually a secondary school teacher by trade, but I haven't taught in secondary school since um, my oldest, who's now 19, was born because I kind of was a stay-at-home mum for a while. Um, but now I'm still back in a school, but a primary school working in the library. So all those different things involve teaching, and I love teaching in different ways. I know not everyone does, but maybe you still like, you know, crafting and things, and you can share with others. Um, not everyone has to, you know, teach classes and things, but maybe you like sharing with others too, just getting together, having fun, and creating. Anyway, what I'd like to do is share with you today the cards that we're going to make and show you um, some inspiration using the Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks and today we're using the Snowflake one. So let me turn my camera around and we will get started. Here are today's cards. So you'll see that I've used the Snowflakes. So it's very slight variations but I'll show you how I did those and give you some tips along the way. So what I'm going to use, like I have the last couple of weeks, is use the Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. So this set has got three backgrounds, the leaves, the hound's tooth, and then the ones to make the flower. And then today we're going to use the snowflake one. Now do I admit here in New Zealand, obviously um, Christmas is summertime. So sometimes it's a little bit hard using snowflakes, but I think the stamp sets, the creations with snowflake look quite stunning. And particularly if you've got maybe people overseas or in colder climates, then snowflakes are good. So I still like making them, but um, admittedly, you know, the more traditional Christmas tree, that kind of thing does appeal a little bit more because of our climate naturally. All right. So these two cards, this one here is more of the boho blue and this one is more of starry night. Okay just so you know. So the card bases are both the same. We've got um, Starry Sky and then the Boho Blue Matting, but this, the actual ink on the um, card is more Starry Sky. This is actually one ink colour, but just some darker than lighter. This is the Boho Blue. So I don't know which you like more. 
And then in case I forget to tell you later, I have just done one little snowflake on the inside as well. So you can add that if you want. And I've tied it in with the matting with the boho blue, the same as the outside, to sort of make it all fit together. Okay, so let's get started. We'll do the lighter one first. We'll do the boho blue. So I will get a small piece of grid paper to put down. And I'm going to tape my piece of card in place because I don't want it to move around. So just a bit of seal. Yep, that there. My, this, what do you call it? Um, uh, mat. No, mask. Just trying to decide where, which way we're to put it around. I don't know. Let's go with that. So I'm sort of going to have my sentiment down there. So is that kind of straightish? Does not matter too much? Okay, I'll put a bit of tape just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to use my blending brushes and ink. So starting with the um, Boho Blue. So getting some ink and just gently. I still like to hold it down just to make sure it doesn't move. Starting off lighter. Now there are some little ones as well so just make sure you get into all of it whoops um, and you can always add more color but you can't really take it away so I kind of like to a circular motion going around you can always have a little sneak peek to see how it's looking or yeah a little bit darker and there we go so these cards using these masks are very quick and easy to do okay uh, yep, just some on the edges. All right, there we go. Having a look, that looks pretty good. So we'll carefully take that up. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Okay, um, and so then we're matting it. Where is my boho blue? I know pre-cut it all beforehand, and now it's... There's always something that disappears during the... Um, live so let's see yep that goes nicely so you just got to remember for this one we're just going to adhere it down um, with the ribbon there's nothing going around the edges but with this one it is so we do need to um, just carefully our steps so let's put that aside and we'll do our darker one now so that is it still sticky? Yes. So we'll stick that down, bring back our mask and put that down. And now I'm going to use some Starry Sky. So I've got a slightly darker blending brush for that. Now with this one, I'm going to go over it all quite lightly. And then I'm going to choose a few and just go over he more heavily with um, the same color. So I'll just show you. So starting off, just quite lightly all over so this is how you get kind of two tones with just one ink pad which is quite cool so just lightly round and round quite therapeutic this all right so making sure that i've kind of got them all we can have a little sneak peek so it's quite light which is nice okay then i'm going to choose a few focal ones so my sentiment's going to be there so i'm going to go with that one there which is a bit different to this and I'm going to go quite dark. Sorry if I'm shaking the table. See that? It's a lot darker. Just around the area so that one stands out. Let's go with maybe this one up here. Every car is going to be a little bit different. Whoops. Just focus on that point. And then maybe up here maybe. I don't know. What do you reckon? Or down here. Let's do this corner. We don't want too many. But just a few to stand out. Uh, maybe just this one over. Uh, yeah, this one here. All right, you can have fun. So I'm just pressing a bit harder, making them a bit darker. So if we take a sneak peek, can you see how those colors really stand out, which is quite cool. I like that. So I think the contrast in the starry sky one looks quite nice. There we go. So actually I'll need my starry sky for my sentiments. Let's take this off. One, oh, that's all right. We'll have ribbon and things. I don't know if I can make one of those dark. Let's see if can I line it up? I'll just see if we can just uh, hopefully I don't have I used the wrong brush. 
I just don't want it anywhere else. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that worked. Okay, happy with that. All right. So I love the blending brushes. Um, nice way to add color. So I'm going to adhere each of those. Where's my first one gone? So we're going to adhere that to that one. And I'll grab another one. And in case you're wondering what size, it's 10, and 10 centimeters by 14.3. So I'm just having to quickly cut one. I know these measurements off by the back of my hand because I do it so much. All right. So let's adhere those like so. Glue, tape, whatever you prefer. I guess I should have done my little inside one at the same time. I will do that later if we remember. Okay. So this is a way of using this um, mask with ink. There are other ways to use it as well. But we'll just focus on this one today. All right, there we go. Let's try and get it nice and even. At least with the glue I can, she says, trying. Whoops, slide it a bit too much there. Just adjust it so it's nice. And even, I think that looks okay. All right, so quite different with the boho blue and then the starry sky. Okay. Um, so let's do our sentiment. So I'm using the Merry Christmas. You can find, you know, whatever you've got. I'm using it from the stars at night. Uh, here and I'm just going to get a strip of cardstock I'm going to stamp both in the starry sky so it stands out and cut it out with my punch and I'm sorry I can't remember what the punch is called so we'll do one there I've got a little bit too much ink on the edge there and we'll do one the other way oh, can, you, can, can you see so doing one each end and then I'm coming in with this punch Lining it up and punching it out. And lining it up, punching it out. Okay. Then if I want to do more, cut it off, use some more pieces. Okay, you will notice that it's um, framed a little bit. So this one is just top and bottom. This one has got around all four sides. And you're thinking, how do you do that when you've only got one size, one punch? Well... We will get a scrap piece of Starry Sky and I'm going to cut two for one and one for the other, if that makes any sense. Okay. Okay, don't you love, isn't that satisfying, that crunch sound with the punches? Okay, so let's do our sentiments. I'll move those out of the way and we'll come back to those afterwards. Okay, with a pair of scissors... I'm going to cut across the middle like that and basically adhere it underneath top and bottom like so. For the other one, I'll do that as well. But I'm also going to cut it this way. Now if you do it this way, those bits kind of hang out. So what I'm going to do is I only really want the ends. So I'm just going to trim them so it looks like this. So it's just the end part I want. And then we'll put those together. All right, so a little bit of glue. Um, so I'm going to put a bit of glue top and bottom. And then try and get similar spacing top and bottom. And just put it aside for a moment just to let it dry so you don't pick it up and alter the shaping. But that looks pretty good, that one. And then for the other one, We've got um, four sides. So let's do the top and bottom first. So lining it up. And where's the bottom? Here. Like so. And then we're going to add a bit more glue. Doesn't matter if the line cutting in the back isn't perfect because we're not going to see it. Then we'll do the ends as well. So I'll show you the back. The back looks messy, but that's okay. No one sees it. Like so. Okay? So that's cool. Different shapes with punches. So this one's got a gap in the middle. And then this one here, you'll see it's got a little square in the background where it wasn't 
cover so that's fine because we're going to put it on with dimensionals okay um right so let's adhere these to our card bases nearly dropped that in the ink so i like to crease it with my bone folder so we get a nice crisp edge makes it fold much nicer and oh hang on starry sky we need the ribbon first let's do that oh nearly forgot so put some tape you can use tear and tape or seal and i'm going to get some starry sky ribbon and wrap a piece around when i find it here it is it's all here and then i use something put it down and bury it okay so we're going to start here go across and then trim it with my ribbon scissors like so all right now we can adhere it safety here we'll do the rest later okay use my glue so who likes to make snowflake cards do you i think they look stunning i do like them oops but obviously it's a bit harder in our warmer weather oops don't go too close to the edge don't want it pouring out at the top okay so which way did i do it so this one here has got all four sides so what i'm going to do is put dimensionals either side of the ribbon that's there so i'm going to use the mini ones for that because if you stick it onto there sometimes it doesn't stick quite so well or it moves around so we'll go with, oops with the minis well you know what i should use where is it this little gadget Check. particularly if you don't have nails takes them off whoops cool like that all right so that one is for there let's put that on and then we'll get another piece of a ribbon and tie a bow so i'm just going to tuck it under about half and tie a bow and then of course we've got to add sparkle to our card all right so let's put that there if you want it not to move around too much you could put a glue dot underneath the kind of bow all right there we go um this card here we're gonna have this oh you can't see it this ribbon so the ribbon is very cool it's like a sparkly ribbon it is called the iridescent ribbon and i'm sure i pre-cut a bit the right length maybe not no that's right i used it on another card okay so let's use this as a one two rough guide three do it with an angle okay so i'm going to put some tape down and sort of bend it backwards so kind of like that like that whoops we've got dimensional and all and then stick it to the back so I've got it slightly on an angle maybe just I think this is the most fiddly but sort of getting it how you like that's pretty good maybe a bit too long maybe angled slightly more that's all right we can just adjust it let's see if we like Oops. or you can stick it down and do it this way <sighs> sorry this is the most kind of fiddly trying to get it right i'm probably going to cut a bit off so it's not too long don't like to waste it but we want to get the right length so let's go that way these are my ribbon scissors so cut it nicely sort of like that okay so then a couple of dimensionals for that one let's use a couple of big ones and then it'll help kind of hold our ribbon in place i might actually put one right in the middle to kind of hold that ribbon down as well um, so with this one you can put your card together and then put it on so that's cool all right so about there something like that okay uh, let's straighten it up a little bit Boop. okay uh, what else so we need to add sparkle so for this one i've put a few keeping with the iridescent theme iridescent ribbon iridescent 
rhinestones. So I've put a few into the middle of the snowflakes and a couple on here. This one, the same, it depends on where your snowflakes are, and just one there. Try and keep, I like odd numbers. So let's go with that. All right, so is that going to stick down? Yes. So let's put a nice big one in here because that's a nice big snowflake. Oh, let's centre it a bit better. Like things centred. Okay, we need one up here perhaps. Running out of medium-sized ones, so that's probably one there. And then maybe, so that's two. Um, three, four, and then maybe one up here somewhere. Where should we put it? Five up there. How's that? All right, for our other card, we will put another big one on our very dark snowflake here. Maybe one over there too. Two. Maybe one on that one. It's a bit lighter, but like so. You could just leave it on the three, not put any on the Merry Christmas if you don't want to. Up to you. All right. So let me just show you how I did the bit inside. It's not too hard. You just got to be a little bit careful. So where are my masks? So we'll bring this back in our piece here. Is that sticky? Yes, in our mask. So I want to do just one. Uh, how did I do it last time? I think I used that one. So maybe like that. So you sort of got to hold it. If you need to... You could just mask it a little bit so you don't get it, whoops, where you don't want it. But maybe you don't want it up there. Um, this is kind of how you had to do the old masks before when they um, weren't all in one. Right, I need my dark. What did I do, boho blue? Or well, let's go for a starry sky, just a light starry sky. Can you see what I'm doing? Just to sort of tie it together. Have a little sneak peek. Oops, we've got a little bit of that one. I oh, will we'll make it prominent then since we've caught it by mistake. How's it? Yep, cool. And we've got another one to do like that too. We'll maybe try and do one this time. Let's see if we can get it right. So there. And then we'll just mask around it. And I'm not actually going to put any more ink on. I'll just use what's already there. I'll put my finger there and I can't get that one. Oh, it's moving. Oops, it's a bit darker. How's that? Anyway, it's just something to tie it together. Ah, stuck down. How's that? Whoops. All right, there we go. So then we are going to put that onto our Baja Blue matting. Somehow I didn't pre-cut enough of these. Probably forgot about the inside. So one there. Got a slight smudge there, but hopefully we won't see it. Um, I'll just adhere one because I... I'll see if I can find another piece of boho blue. Have I got glue there? Anyway, you get the idea, hopefully. And then put that inside your can. Beautiful. So another idea with these snowflakes, which I was hoping to show you, was using embossing, embossing paste. There's just normal embossing paste and shimmery embossing paste. But I'd only had a tiny bit left and it was from last year and it had gone hard. So I need to order some more. So another time we'll have a go at using masks and embossing paste because that's quite cool too. But I love the colours. So with embossing paste, you could do white on a coloured cardstock, something like that. But anyway, fairly quick, simple cards. So, um, yeah, choose whatever colours you like to use for the ink with the snowflakes. Um, see whatever punches you've got that you can put a sentiment in. And then if you want to help it stand out, frame it by cutting more and going around the edges. Um, so that's just a few little ideas to help you kind of add to it. And then whatever ribbon and things and sparkle you've got. So you can add, um, you know, this is a thinner ribbon. This is the Starry Sky Metallic Ribbon. I could put a glue dot and sort of hold that down more if I wanted. This is the Iridescent White Ribbon, which is in the mini catalogue, which is cool. So there you go. So which card do you like the most? 
So it's kind of hard to say. I would actually like to try. Oh, that looks quite nice. I mean, say this ribbon on that card as well. You could vary it up a little bit too. So do you have a favorite? What do you like? Very good. Well, thank you for joining me and watching me show you how to use the Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. Remember the other masks? If you missed my other videos, we have done the flower, which was two weeks ago, and then the leaves, and then we actually embossed. Um, you can emboss or leave it plain as well. So um, look back and have a look at those. So there are obviously more yellows and things. And now we're going for more blues. And then there is still another one, which I'm going to have to think of what um, creations we can come up with that. So I hope you like these cards. So before I finish, just a reminder, as I've been saying, during the month of, what are we? October, getting through the year, um, there is a joining promotion. Now, I know joining is not for everyone. Uh, some of you enjoy just crafting and ordering for yourself, and that's totally fine. I appreciate all my customers. Thank you for you know, ordering through me, and I'm uh, happy to, to help you in that way. But if you ever think, oh, actually, I'd like to join myself, there are obviously benefits. And I shared recently in my newsletter and on my blog uh, sort of nine reasons why I love being a demonstrator. Um, and, you know, being able to, the community, the people that I meet through this um, is, is wonderful, whether it's customers or um, other demonstrators, people in my team, the people that I've got to know through Stamping Up that I wouldn't have got to know otherwise. Um, which is great. Some of it's online, some of it's in person, which is really cool. Um, I enjoy teaching. So teaching is a big part for me that I enjoy doing. I know not everybody does and you don't have to, but that's something that I enjoy. Um, obviously, you know, the products that you get, the high quality products, we can get pre-order things a little bit earlier. We get a discount. Um, and Stamping Up is a great company to work for, very supportive, lots of, um, you know, benefits and things of being part of the team. And yeah, lots of different reasons of being a demonstrator and, you, you know, so, so just have a think if that's something you would like to consider. So if you do join up this month, you can get 35% off the starter kit. So instead of 189, it's only 122.85 and you get 285 worth of product. Or if you like lots, you can pay the normal $189 price and you get 35% more product. Both of those is free shipping. And then um, you get access to the virtual on-stage demonstrator event, which is not this weekend or the next one. It's about two or three weekends away, a few weekends away. But that's a great way to connect and meet others. It's online, but, you know, be inspired by stamping up. So if this interests you or you want to know more, you may decide not to, but at least you can ask. Feel free to get in contact with me. I'd love you to join my team. I've got people all over New Zealand, so don't think, oh, I'm not local, I can't. Yes, some of my team is local, but I've got down in Bacargill to way up north. No matter where you are, we can still connect and things. And there are opportunities to get together from time to time. So feel free to ask. This is only, there's less than a week left. 31st of October is the end of this amazing deal. And I think this is one of Stamping Up's, you know, quite amazing offers um, for joining. Any time is a great time to join, um, even with the normal starter kit price, but that's even better. So here are today's cards that we made, which we made this one first with the boho blue, this one with the starry sky with the sort of two tonings. I like being able to do that. Um, and then our ribbon and um, using our punches, love our punches, and being able to sort of add a bit of color behind that and there's sort of some sparkle as well so I hope that inspires you if you um yeah enjoy this and would like to get hold of those masks they're, they're very reasonable they're 22 25 I think plus shipping so it's quite great value and there's so many ways to use them like I said you know we've got the flowers we've got the leaves you could make a huge number of cards um, you just need some ink and make sure you've got some blending brushes as well um, and then you're all set to go. So thank you for joining me today. Just a reminder that um, if you're not on my mailing list, I'd love you to um, sign up. So I send out uh, emails each week, a bigger one at the beginning of the month, 
and then other ones in between and it's some of the information is exclusive tutorials and things you won't see anywhere else tips ideas inspiration and then information about promotions and things too and over the next few weeks leading up to christmas we've got the 12 weeks of christmas so today's one's gone out went out at 1 p.m today and then there'll be another eight so if you sign up you'll get to have, see eight more projects cards gift ideas um, tags that kind of thing as well as a thank you to those that subscribe to me so if I can be of any assistance to you whether you want to order join find out more of any of these things please don't hesitate to get in contact with me um, my blog is stampwithangela.co.nz and if you want to sign up for my newsletter if you go to that there's a sign up um, on the right hand side you can sign up to my newsletter there as well and you get a free tutorial when you sign up for a fun fold card or trifold card so cool so it's lovely being with you here today thank you for joining me i hope you've enjoyed these cards and i look forward to sharing with you again next week so i'll see you again on thursday at 1 30 new zealand time thanks so much happy stamping happy crafting see you again soon bye <music>